Welcome back to more car mechanic sim. So welcome to the garage again. I want to say thanks so much for joining me for this video today. We've got a car with timing related issues today. So we're going to take a look at that. But before we do anything else, I just want to ask if you're not already subscribed to the channel that you can go ahead and hit that subscription button. It would really mean the world to me. If you enjoy this video, please do leave me a like at the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Right then guys, welcome back to the garage. So, we've got a car that's come in today with some timing related issues. I think the first thing that we should do is just uh, take a look on the overview, see if there's anything that we can see that's obvious. Hmm, looks like there's some things down here that are red, so we're going to find out what those are. We'll make this a little learning experience together, I think. This could be interesting, so we'll move the car across to the uh, car lifter, like so. Right, I think we're going to need a jacket all the way up, um, potentially. Uh, might be able to get in this way, actually. Right, let's have a quick look. Okay, so we've got some timing-related issues here. Um, it looks like this one. So the belt tensioner. And what's this? The water pump? The water pump. They were, those were both things that were flagged there when we saw the, um, the overview. Like this. Um, I'll just see if there's anything also on the car status. So, yeah, the timing belt, the belt tensioner, and the water pump. Uh, water pump 14. Timing. Okay, let's see if we can... Um, I'll tell you what, let's see if we can make a little shopping list quickly. Um, we'll see if we can do this. Track part, track part, track part. Can we add them to the shopping list that way? Or is there another way of doing that? Let's have a look. Part notes. And add to list... Uh, not to, uh, I don't think we can do that just yet. Okay, so... Uh, I could be wrong. Let's have a look and get zoomed in on our area now. We'll start taking this thing apart, I think. I think we'll just work on it on the ground. I think this seems the best way. Um, so it's saying these are accessible from the engine bay. Well, we're in the engine bay. Are we focused in on the wrong part? If we zoom in on the engine like that. There we go. That's what it wants. Okay, can we take the belt tensioner off? Okay, this looks like it's coming off straight away. And I don't think we're going to be able to take that water pump off without taking off this serpentine belt. Right, it doesn't want us to take that off just yet. Um, is it behind some other stuff? Let's just try the water pump. No. So that's it. The water pump needs to come off, but the serpentine belt needs to come off first. Now, how much of this are we going to have to strip down? Do we need to take this off? No? What about this belt? Okay, serpentine belt A has come off. Let's see if we can take serpentine belt B off now. That's off. Right, let's get the water pump off. Okay, so I think we've got the parts off that we need now. So look in our inventory. And uh, I think... There's a couple of things here that are that are busted from our last lot. And also there's a case here that we can get that open. See if there's some parts in here. I've been looking at doing a barn find next. So that's literally where you go and purchase a, a car that's been left in a barn, for, stored in a bar for a while. Or if When I actually looked, there's a couple of cars, but I didn't quite have enough money to do that yet. So what would happen there is we'd go and buy a car and literally it'd be not probably not running need some work done on it and obviously we could then start to do it up we'd probably park it somewhere in the garage and just work on it as time goes on and get some value get some value to it so we've got water pump 14 there where the condition's 24 percent and where's our belts serpentine belt b and serpentine belt a now the timing belt hasn't come off the belt tension is ruined that's on one percent right let's have a look and uh, see if we can take a look and see if we can find out where the timing belt is so, crankshaft pulley. This looks like it's going to have to come off because the timing belt... Um, I don't know whether it's just me. I could be totally wrong. But I think the timing belt's actually inside there. Right, let's take this roller off as well. Now, hopefully, this, um, this cover should come off now. There we go. Timing belt. Timing cover. Get this thing off like that. Right, let's see if this um, belt will come off now. There we go. Right, um, I think that's everything. So, 
once again just a quick look at the inventory just to see um, what we're replacing again so we need a belt tensioner we need water pump and that's uh, alternative number 14 and a timing belt right let's see if we can um, actually we'll try one last time just to see if we can add those things to our shopping list just have a quick look add the shopping list so view button has that done it oh we've added two there I can see in the top left hand corner belt tensioner and water pump there we go right then by using the computer and by opening our shopping list we should be able to make life a little bit easier for ourselves um, I'm not entirely too sure what's the best way to do this I think probably just going in alphabetical order so there's a belt tensioner there so we'll get one of those $33 not too bad not too bad timing belt and a water pump right we're going all the way down I can't see these but I'm just gonna take a guess that we're not quite there yet okay timing chain so we need to go up a little bit timing belt get one of those $114 for a belt Dear me, right water pump 14 let's have a look water pump water pump 14 water pump 14 Hmm. Oh, there we are. I was looking at water pump B and C and I was thinking water pump 14 must be before those. But no, $57. There we go. Right, let's get these bits replaced. And we'll see how we've done. Hopefully that should be job complete. Right, let's just see then. And hopefully we haven't missed anything. So what we want to do is mount the part by going there and there. And then if we hold down on there, we'll get a new timing belt on. Right, let's get this cover back on. Like so. Nice, nice job so far. I'm glad to see this part of the game because this is obviously moving us on from the sort of bricks and that type of thing. Get this back on. And what else was it? Inner roller. I think that has to go on, doesn't it? Um, and then the water pump, I believe. I could be doing this in the wrong order. I hope, hope not. Right, um, serpentine belt A, I think, needs to go on first. Let's see if we can zoom out a little. Ah, oh, we need to zoom out a little bit there without coming all the way out. Press on the wrong thing now. Right, okay. Right, mount part. And let's see. Serpentine belt B. It's still giving us. What about this? See, if we put that on. Um, okay, let's do that. Right, that's on. And then we'll put the belt tensioner back on. And then we're going to put um, serpentine belt A. Where's it gone, guys? Um, well. What was that there? There it is. Right, okay. Part. Oh, no. No, no, no. Wrong thing there. Part mount. Part mount. Is it going to let us do this? It certainly is. Right, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's have a look. Car status. All sorted. Finish order. $441. It's not much. But it'll do. Right then, guys. So just to end this one, even though it's a little bit shorter than usual, I'm just going to go into my inventory. And I'm just going to sell off a few parts and things that we've um, taken off cars that are now useless to us. I think anything less than 25% um, condition, I think, we can sell off. So that's given us a bit of extra money and also cleared out um, just some of the rubbish. I think we can get rid of this timing belt, for example. That can go. And I think we'll also just open up this barn location map as well like so and that's added another barn location to our map so that's all good and as you can see we've got quite a number of parts in our inventory from different cars and also from our visit to the barn um, that I did do and I had a look at that 
and that could be something that we take a look at in the future when we go and buy a car and do it up for ourselves but i want to say thanks so much for coming through and checking out this video today if you're not subscribed to the channel please do go ahead and do that and if you enjoyed this video please do leave me a like and if you want to see more videos like this guys please do stick around and click one of the links at the end of this video thanks so much for coming through and i'll catch you again soon